Hello everyone, my name is Matt and I'm the curator here at the Museum of Natural History. In honor of National Fossil Day, I thought as a special treat we could take a look inside of our vaults here and learn about some fossils from the Paleozoic, a period of time that extended between 250 and over 500 million years ago. So let's take a look. Let's start off with the trilobites, which first showed up over 520 million years ago during what is known as the Cambrian Explosion, when most complex life first appeared. These creatures are among the earliest arthropods found in the fossil record, along with crustaceans, and get their name from their three bodily lobes. They are one of the most common and diverse group of animals that lived during the Cambrian, with over 20,000 known species from that time. Many of the fossils found of trilobites are molted exoskeletons, which either filled in with sediment, forming casts, or left behind impressions that were buried. Like many of the animals we'll discuss today, they went extinct during the end of the Paleozoic in the Permian-Triassic extinction. Let's take a minute to talk about these extinct corals. What you are seeing now are called rugose corals, also known as horn corals due to their appearance. These structures are made of calcite and would have housed soft-bodied polyps that lived on the bottom of the sea floor. Horn corals are interesting because they often live solitary lives rather than in large colonies such as those found in a coral reef, much like these tabulate corals that you see now, which always lived in colonies and formed hexagonal cells known as coralites. Both tabulate and rugose corals again went extinct during the Permian-Triassic extinction. And here we have our collection of brachiopod fossils, shelled filter feeders that reached their peak during the Paleozoic. While they look very similar to mollusks, they are not actually related at all. And unlike bivalves like clams and mussels, which have symmetrical shells, brachiopods have distinct upper and lower valves. Brachiopod actually means arm foot and refers to their very long fleshy stalks that would extend out the back of their valve and anchor them to the surface. While most brachiopods are extinct today, there are a few species that still exist. Let's talk about crinoids, which are in the same classification as starfish, echinoderm. They're also called sea lilies because they had long flowing tentacles resembling flowers, which were attached to a central stalk. You can see fragments of these segmented stalks distributed throughout this block. While most of the fossils we have from this time period are invertebrates, we do have some fish fossils. Here are the placoderms. These are armored fish that lived during the Devonian period and are actually some of the first fish to have jaws. While their fleshy bits did not survive fossilization, what do remain are the armor plates that covered their head and upper fins. Well, I hope you learned something today about the creatures of the Paleozoic. As I mentioned, almost all of these went extinct about 245 million years ago during the Permian-Triassic extinction event, where almost 90% of all marine life disappeared from the Earth. It's crazy to think of what humble beginnings we all came from, and what life used to be like, and how fragile life continues to be. So take care out there, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.